Good morning. Uh, during this time when we're under a lot of restrictions and, uh, and we're not able to meet together, I know it's getting trying and, and it's getting long and uh, we're getting weary with it. But in my devotional this morning, I read some lines that, that helped me with that and I want to share that with you. I am worthy of all your confidence, all your trust. Refuse to let the world events spook you. And I've interpreted that as being fear, putting fear in us. Instead, pour your energy into trusting me and looking for evidence of my presence in this world. Let me wrap you up in my abiding presence and comfort you with my peace. Remember, I am both loving and faithful. My love reaches to the heavens, my faithfulness to the skies. This means you can never come to the end of my love. It is limitless and everlasting. Moreover, you can stand on the rock of my faithfulness, no matter what circumstances you may be facing. That gave me a, a boost this morning, realizing that, yes, indeed, we are, we are uh, apart from each other. We're separated, and we really, as a people, don't like that. But um, during these trials and limitations, uh, this is the optimum time to lift up praise to our Father in heaven. And I wanted to read Psalm 100, but some of those psalms right in there in the middle are, if you don't have the words for lifting praise and thankfulness, you can use these words from the scripture. But I want to read Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, You know that we miss each other. We desire fellowship. We long for familiar faces. But let us not be fearful or discouraged, but ask and seek ways to grow closer to You to grow a closer relationship with you, Lord, to grow our faith, to voice our thankfulness, to discern what you are trying to teach us through this time. Lord, you've a lesson in it for us. Help us to learn that. Let us reach out to others. Let's don't just fritter our time away, but we can reach out to others in many ways, through phone calls, through texting, through the social media that so many people use. Find out the needs, Lord. Try to, uh, to meet those needs. If it's leaving a, a meal at a door, make people aware and do that. If it's a phone call, if it's a card, Lord, there's ways that we can reach out. And, of course, we can always pray for our, for our members and, uh, and, and our church and our pastor, Lord. And, Lord, we know we have many that are facing health issues and facing surgeries this week and in the coming weeks, Lord. And, and we just want to surround them in prayer and we want to be encouraging to them as a church. And we know, Lord, that you will... You will meet our needs. We may do it in a different way, but you will meet our needs and you will grow us through this if we will trust and lift you up and praise you in all circumstances. Paul said in whatsoever circumstances he found himself in that he gave thanks. Let us do the same. In your son's precious name, amen.